I'm not gonna lie guys I owe everything to this and you basically you pop it on a pen you wind it up and you inject yourself it's this is a game changer I don't know why if you want to lose weight I don't know why everyone ain't on this really and listen I'm not yes guys what is good it's your girl abs Iggy we are back with another video look so today I am going to be talking about how I lost weight I lost over three stone yes three stone using something called a Zempic but listen, before I explain what that is and my journey, make sure you subscribe now. Subscribing is free. You see that little red button? Just click it, click it, click it, subscribe. And yeah, man, let's just get straight into this video. All right, so I started my weight loss journey back last year in April 2023. Um, to be honest, I just got to a point where I wasn't happy with my weight. I felt ugly. I felt a bit fat um you know I, I just looked like i had problems with my breathing um so i was like you know what enough is enough it's time for a change now isn't it so that's what i've done so and look before i explain what a zempic is and um you know how to use it and some of the benefits and the side effects um i'm just gonna talk to you a little bit first about what I did first start off my weight loss journey and then how I use a Zempic to sustain it really and just give myself a boost so last year April 2023 that's when I started I was weighing in at 76.5 kilograms yeah so just to convert that into pounds or stones for anyone that don't know I weighed over just 12 stone I'm pretty short as well like I'm 5'3 yeah so weighing 12 stone was actually mad um and in pounds I was weighing 168 pounds. To me, that is a madness. So what I done was, I first of all found this app called My Fitness Pal. This app is awesome. So I'm gonna just show you guys as I um, speak. I'm gonna get it up on my phone now. So this is My Fitness Pal now. This app is pretty sick because what it does is it allows you to calorie count. Now, if you want to lose weight, the only way you can lose weight is by is by being in a calorie deficit. If you don't know what a calorie deficit is basically a calorie deficit is where you burn more calories than you consume yeah that's just the simplest way of explaining it yeah so in order to lose weight you have to be in a calorie deficit right so for me with this app it's awesome because you can log your weight i put in 76.5 kilograms and i said to myself i want to lose a stone right that's the first mile milestone that i wanted to reach so what it does on this app is it can calculate for you how many calories you need to consume a day and from there I basically worked it out so I wanted to lose one stone now one stone roughly is 6.35 kilograms so I said to myself All right, I want to lose one kilogram a week which is a lot to be honest um, it is a lot so I knew that I had to consume 1200 calories so with this app now so this is my profile um, so in April I was weighing as you can see here 76.5 kilograms right and I tracked my weight all the way through the whole year. So it's to honest, it's good because you need to see your progression. I think it's important and just to celebrate the small little wins. So I was using this app to progress it. Um, as of today, I am, so I weighed myself on the 10th of January. I'm 55.6 kilograms here. So you lot do the math. I've lost quite a lot of weight. Um, so I was sticking to 1,200 calories a day. Now I was going above and beyond that, to be honest. If you know me, you know that I'm into my sports and I was training. So I was training about six, seven times a week, to be honest, as well as sustaining a 1,200 calorie um, consumption. Now, I would not advise that for anybody because most days I was actually in minus calories, if that makes sense, because I was training sometimes twice a day. I'll be playing football. I was doing MMA. So to be honest, there were days that I was either consuming something like 200, 300 calories because I was sticking to the one, two, as well as exercising, because if you exercise, then you can consume more calories. Does that make sense? So you know you can substitute having more food if you do work out but i was working out while sticking to the one two so i was definitely in minus i was training like a mad person i wouldn't advise this for anybody this is just me and i'm just being completely honest what i done i was doing sometimes two sessions a day and just training crazy 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 um and if i'm being honest within the first six weeks i dropped that stone quick now i got to a point where i was feeling tired um i felt like i had no energy and I didn't feel like this was sustainable, to be honest. And I started getting hungry. I got through those first six weeks with just mental willpower, sheer willpower. Now, I'm going to show you lots of pictures. Now, 
I don't want to show these pictures because they look bad like I look terrible but you know on my on my channel I do want to be transparent and I do want to be honest as much as possible so I'm going to show you some of these pictures and let me just get them up on my phone so this is a video that I took last year um just pause it there yeah you can see my belly is bellying um yeah I look kind of mad still I don't know why I'm flexing I don't know who I think I am but I'll be honest like you should take progression pictures from the front from the back from the side videos of what you of what you look like um let me just get some photos up so this is a front picture front view picture now yeah as you can see yeah the belly was bellying I look terrible in my opinion I look like an auntie well I am an auntie I'm somebody's auntie but yeah um let me show you some side pictures as well yeah so this is a side view um yeah my belly is really belly and even my posture is like horrible and some of you know what i do for a living so this ain't on um and then this is just another video like if you just look at my face like you can just see like how big i was man like crazy crazy i'm grabbing that fat yeah so this was april last year feeling bloated and feeling uh pregnant really so let me show you lot what I look like now. Listen, I'm still not where I want to be, but, but, like I'm getting there, innit? Um, so I took these pictures on the 10th when I was weighing, I've weighed 55 now. So, so this video I took on the 10th now. So yeah, obviously you can see I've lost quite a bit more weight, like coming through with the abs flexing a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm so proud of myself. I hope you lot are proud of me too, man. Um, yeah, I just weren't happy with how I looked, man. It was affecting me a lot mentally, physically, in every way as well. So, yeah, and then just some front pictures. So, here we are now. More tattoos, hair, hairline looking sharp, jawline looking sharp. Um, and then, yeah, side view. This is what I look like now. So yeah, that's that. So definitely jump on my fitness pal, use it as a guide. And the good thing about my fitness pal as well is you can scan your food on there. Now, some people might be saying, oh, that's getting too obsessive, scanning your food. Um, but listen, like I said, calorie deficit. If you have a good eye, you know roughly how much calorie things, how much are calories are in food, then that's absolutely fine. But now, after six weeks, I was feeling tired, I was feeling drained, and I needed something to help me. So that's when I discovered something called a Zempic or with Govi, with Govi is for weight loss, but I decided to use a Zempic. Now, Zempic is a medication that gets prescribed to diabetics, but to be honest, guys, you want to jump on with Govi. That's the one for, for general weight loss. Now, how do you get hold of this? If you are a diabetic and you have problems, then you know you can go to your GP for it and get prescribed it, or you can buy it privately from a doctor. You can buy with Govi or Zempic privately from a doctor. Um, which is how I got mine. It is not free. It is going to cost. However, for me, I'm because I'm into my fitness and my health. I will pay whatever was necessary um, to do this. And also, like it, it kept me accountable. If I'm being completely honest. Now you're wondering what is a Zempic or what is Wagovi? Now it's a medication. It looks like this. Now this is what it looks like. Now you're wondering what is this and what does this do? Well, it is an appetite suppressant. It suppresses your appetite and your hunger and your cravings. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I owe everything to this. This is what's kept me going. This is what's kept me on track. And this is what's helped me shed those extra two stone because I think I would have reverted back after that first six weeks of madness or doing madness. And listen, I don't need no fitness people coming on here telling me that's not healthy. You shouldn't be doing this. I'm just being transparent and speaking my truth and what I've done. I trained like a mad person and I ate very little. I did that. Yes. Cool. Lost the stone in like six weeks. Cool. But that's just me. Now, with a Zempic, how does this work? So what happens is, let me open the box for you lot. So you get, so you get a pen like this. Now, if you can see... The liquid inside here this is the azempic now you you get four needles with them so you have to get a monthly supply you get four needles and a monthly supply so this is what it looks like 
you get one of these which is a needle head you get four of these and you basically you pop it on a pen you wind it up and you inject yourself sounds mad doesn't it yeah it does sound mad not as bad as you think if you're afraid of needles you have a phobia then sorry can't help you on that one but it's honestly it doesn't it's not that deep it doesn't hurt um it is giving junky vibes but you know <laughs> it is what it is now just put that away how does this work so you inject yourself once a week um for a month and then it starts working now you have different strengths so you have 0.25 you have 0.5 one milligram and then you have 2.4 and then 2.7 i think it's the highest it goes up to now it's important that you have to start off at the lowest dose um to get your body used to it now are there side effects of a zempic of course the side effects of everything if you read the back of paracetam or ibuprofen there's side effects of those as well what are some of the side effects can include nausea vomiting diarrhea constipation headaches did i get side effects absolutely so i start off on 0.25 which is the lowest dose you can start off on so and i'm not joking i remember taking this thing on a friday morning and i remember by the evening it kind of kicked in for me i don't know whether it's the placebo effect or whether it was just a mental thing but i felt like it kicked in straight away and what it does is suppresses your appetite so it means you don't get cravings you don't get the need to want to eat and when you do eat mate you can't eat that much i just felt full all the time and of course you can't just rely on something like this you definitely need to make sure you are exercising and moving in some capacity whether that's getting your ten thousand steps in a day i would also recommend don't think you can just take this injection and then fat is going to miraculously leave your body that's not how it works you know and i think if you are going to jump on this guys and listen i'm the type of person that i believe you should work smarter in life not harder i could have carried on training like a mad person depriving myself got a mental slipping up being disappointed with myself or use a cheat code a zen pick mate this this is a game changer i don't know why if you want to lose weight i don't know why everyone ain't on this really and listen i'm not getting paid to sponsor to sponsor this or nothing like i'm just speaking my truth because my channel and i can do what i want and um so basically yeah so when i when i first took my first injection i remember on a friday i felt full by that evening i was like nah surely it can't kick in that quickly spoke to my doctor she said it takes about three days to kick in but everyone is different don't forget um, but I felt like I kicked in straight away. That was happy days for me. So the first three days were, were great. I, I I was eating, of course, but um, I just didn't feel that hungry. I wasn't craving sugar. I love sweets. I, I was I used to eat like a mad person in it. But day three, my first side effect kicked in. I started feeling nauseous. Um, very nauseous. The thing is, I'm quite sensitive. My body is sensitive. If you know me then you know my belly is like a baby so anything to do with medication side effects that will always affect me but i know some people that are on it i have friends that are on this no side effects whatsoever this is just my experience i started feeling nauseous a bit around day three didn't really like it day four i started heaving i was like yeah no this is long um but when you do get like that if it happens to you just back water back water back water water became my best friend for almost this last year um so that was that for me the, the nausea lasted about two or three days and that was it um i've not felt nauseous since so you start off on a low dose for the first month now then comes your second month you probably want to increase it to 0.5 and then go up to one and then depending on whether you've reached your weight loss or whatever it is you know your target you're trying to reach then you can either stay on one or you can go up to whatever it is 1.4 2.7 um for me i i started off on 0.25 for the first month and then the second month and for a good few months after that i went on to a 0.5 um and it was just mad like i'll be eating and guys like, I, I honestly couldn't eat that much it got to a point where i had to remind myself to eat um and again i'm just explaining this is just my experience um but also i was also making sure that i was training i was still training i was training sometimes twice a day like i said on top of you know being able to eat less calories a day um now it's the, the research on a zempic or wigovi um it says in the first six months you can lose up to roughly 12 to 15 percent of your body weight 
so whatever your body weight is you can just work that out that's just a guideline for a lot of people it is recommended that if you do start this you want to be on it for at least a year to two years also i believe so that is more sustainable and more realistic you know um because in this time i started in april and now we're in january so i don't know i'm i don't know how many months that is i don't know nine ten months whatever for me now i've developed a lot of great eating habits you know i'm, I'm banging water every day um i don't overeat because naturally when you lose weight your stomach shrinks right so my appetite ain't going crazy i've got a lot more discipline now um with my food and uh, listen there's days where i will go and have a cheat meal for a day or two or three you know and it doesn't affect my weight you know the the fact that i've lost so much weight now i'm so happy because it allows me to eat food that i want i still keep my weight sustainable so i'm so happy for that as well one of the other side effects apparently is something called a zempic face like you guys can put this on tiktok or um, google it but basically it's just when you lose a lot of weight quickly your face can become a little bit more like daunt so i'm not gonna lie like for me i do look in the mirror sometimes i'm like raw like my face does look like apart from my chiseled chore my chiseled apart from my chiseled chore line now like i do look at my face i'm like hmm like is my like your skin can get a little bit loose basically like loose skin right i don't know if you've seen people that have lost weight on their body they get loose skin they say that it can look like that on your face um so yeah i kind of sometimes look at me i'm like mm, my face and my eyes a little bit like i've never had like bags under my eyes i think my eyes have gone a little bit sunken in um but i've got the best skincare routine and i'm into my products and stuff like that so that's how i manage manage that to be honest so i'll say yeah when you lose weight quite a bit just be sort of careful i think of your face and how your body might look physically and i'm not gonna lie guys the only side effect that has lasted till this day is my constipation now i'll be real like i said i'm gonna be honest i probably go to the toilet like once a month and you're thinking once a month you must be backed up no i'm not basically a zempic just slows down your digestive system um i would say only if you have pain as in if your belly's hurting or like you've got physical pains and that's when constipation can be an issue but it's just slow as hell that's all it's just mad slow so i don't mind i don't feel bloated my stomach feels great I've, this is the best i felt i still feel light um yeah it just slows it down a lot so i still have constipation um issues i do get headaches but i'm not sure whether it's because of the exempic or i suffer with period headaches anyways so i was trying to figure out whether it's just my period headache because i get period headaches sometimes like just before my period and just after um but i was sometimes getting headaches around a time where i would top up my weekly azempic dose so i do think as well it gave me some headaches a bit in the beginning but now that's completely calm now i am still currently on azempic um reason being is because i want to stick to the one year mark so like, um and i just want it to be sustainable be completely honest so I'm on one milligram. I'm not going to go any higher because I've already lost a lot of weight. I do still want to lose a little bit of weight if I'm being honest. You're probably thinking why, you know, in, in, in all honesty, the psychological effect that it's had on me, I definitely feel a lot more confident. I love wearing certain clothes now. I love being naked and having fun, you know. But um, I, probably one of the bad mental sides of it, psychological sides, but I'm just being completely honest. I think I might be developing a little bit of body dysmorphia. Like I'm, I still look in the mirror. I'm like, oh, I'm a bit fat here. I'm a bit fat there. Um, but good thing I have some great friends around me. I've made sure that my friends keep me accountable. And I said to them, you know, if I get to a point where I start looking ill, because you know when you lose weight, you can start looking a bit ill. I said, let me know. So I've had a couple of friends say, abs, like, yeah, enough is enough now. Like, can you stop? Um, so i'm grateful for that but still i don't feel too happy completely yet with how my body is and i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people fitness people out there that can relate a lot of bodybuilders people that you know um train and compete and stuff like that you always want to sculpt your body at this point now my stomach has shrunk so much that i can't even eat crazy like i used to and i don't want to ever do that again um because i was barbaric before i'm not even gonna lie 
um, in terms of prices, I can't say the prices online because you have to purchase it privately. If any of you genuinely want to purchase this, send me a DM and I will put you in touch with a, with a doctor that can get it for you. Um, but yeah, man, that's my, that's my honest truth. That's my weight loss journey. And yeah, man, that's, that's it for me, guys. So if you have any other questions, put this in the, in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are about it. Um, work smart, not harder. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, appreciate you guys. Um, let me know what you think. I hope you are happy for me. I'm happy for me. Bye-bye.